Prince Harry found himself taken aback during a Monday preview of his Netflix documentary, Heart of Invictus, when he visited an AMC theater. This visit captured the attention of both the live audience and those following online through social media. The venue for this event was an AMC theater nestled in the charming city of Chula Vista within San Diego County. The attendees eagerly awaited the rare opportunity to see Prince Harry in person, which had generated considerable anticipation. Videos and photos shared on social media depicted Prince Harry impeccably dressed in a gray suit as he addressed the audience during the screening. However, what truly piqued the interest of netizens and commentators was the conspicuous absence of audience members in the seats directly facing him. These unoccupied seats became the focal point of discussion, sparking a range of reactions and speculations among those who viewed the footage. Some viewers drew comparisons, likening Prince Harry's demeanor to that of a school teacher welcoming students back after a lengthy summer break, rather than the charismatic royal figure he once personified. One humorous tweet from a user named The Ten playfully pointed out the stark contrast between the grandeur of Prince Harry's surprise visit and the relatively modest turnout. The tweet jokingly suggested that only around 20 individuals had attended the screening, injecting a touch of satire into the situation. Meanwhile, a Twitter thread initiated by another user, Flopper Armorbi Buono, delved into the possibility that a significant portion of the audience may have consisted of Prince Harry's own staff members. This potential revelation hinted at the stark shift Prince Harry had undergone transitioning from a life of royal splendor to a more commonplace existence. The stark contrast between Prince Harry's illustrious royal past and his current pursuits highlights the irony of his situation. Once a prominent member of the British royal family who commanded global attention, he now finds himself addressing an audience that could be described as modest at best. Comments and gestures flooding social media platforms drew parallels between this occurrence and a previous incident, Prince Harry's United Nations speech from the previous year, which had also garnered attention for its reception. The absence of Meghan Markle from the premiere event raised questions about the dynamic between Prince Harry and Meghan, who were often seen as an inseparable pair. This fueled speculation about the status of their relationship. While some observers suggested that their physical separation hinted at potential issues, Others pondered whether the couple might be intentionally keeping the public guessing. Meghan's journey took an intriguing turn as she embarked on a new career path within the media industry. Earlier in the year, she had signed with the renowned entertainment agency W, signaling her intention to explore uncharted territories beyond the traditional boundaries of the royal realm. This bold step ignited conversations about Meghan's aspirations and the risks associated with deviating from the path set by her marriage to Prince Harry. Royal expert Kenny Scofield offered insights during a podcast discussion, shedding light on the complexities of the couple's evolving trajectories. Scofield emphasized Meghan's background as a working actor, highlighting that her fame was intricately tied to her union with Prince Harry. This perspective illuminated the perception surrounding Meghan's journey as she transitioned from relative anonymity to global recognition through her royal connection. The divergence in paths between Prince Harry and Meghan prompted contemplation about the implications of their choices. While Prince Harry appeared to be returning to his royal responsibilities and charitable initiatives, earning admiration for his positive contributions, Meghan's decision to forge a new identity in the media world carried its own set of risks. Scofield cautioned against underestimating the significance of the platform provided by Prince Harry in shaping Meghan's public image. Prince Harry has become embroiled in a controversy that revolves around his apparent quest for recognition while neglecting the substantial contributions of his family members, Catherine and William. His attempt to claim exclusive credit has not gone unnoticed and he faces rightful criticism for seemingly downplaying their roles. The heart of the issue centers on Harry positioning himself as the primary advocate for mental health. His actions have ignited discussions, with royal commentator Daniela Elsa dissecting the situation in a comprehensive article for News.com Australia. Elsa's analysis commenced with a pointed critique of Harry's selective presentation of the Invictus Games narrative. 
she emphasized the glaring omission of the vital role played by the royal family, including Harry himself, in shaping the Invicta story. Her article underscored the irony in the series' portrayal, suggesting that it could lead viewers to believe that Harry single-handedly conceived the entire concept of Invictus while conveniently sidestepping the significant involvement of the royal family. Elsa's central contention revolved around the omission of critical information about the formation of the Invictus Initiative and its associated platform. She posed a pivotal question about the true essence of this platform and highlighted the notable absence of terms like royal family or monarchy throughout the series. This absence created an atmosphere in which Harry seemed to be the sole protagonist in the battle to destigmatize mental health. However, Elsa was quick to emphasize that this narrative was incomplete. She astutely noted that the contributions of not only Harry, but also Prince William and Catherine, had been conveniently omitted from the royal family's discourse on mental health. Elsa shed light on Princess Kate's involvement as a patron of the Place to Be Children's Mental Health Charity, her leadership at Anna Freud's Center, and her role in the Maternal Mental Health Alliance. These aspects highlighted that mental health advocacy was not solely Harry's endeavor. Furthermore, Elsa emphasized that the collaborative efforts of Harry, William, and Kate played a pivotal role in the founding of Heads Together through their shared royal foundation in 2016. Her analysis provided a multidimensional perspective, underscoring the contributions of all three members and countering the one-sided portrayal in the series. Additionally, Elsa pointed out that Prince William had openly discussed his personal struggles following the untimely death of Princess Diana, making significant contributions to the mental health narrative. However, these nuanced aspects were conspicuously absent in Heart of Invictus. Moreover, Elsa highlighted concerns expressed by friends of Prince William and Catherine in a report by the Daily Beast. These concerns were related to the potential overshadowing of the one-year anniversary of Queen Elizabeth E's passing due to the publicity surrounding Harry's visit to London, the promotion of his Netflix series Heart of Invictus, and the subsequent Invictus Games. There were fears that Harry's history of generating controversy might eclipse the significance of the day, leading to apprehension about his potential impact on the royal family's dignity. Prince Harry found himself taken aback during a Monday preview of his Netflix documentary, Heart of Invictus, when he visited an AMC theater. This visit captured the attention of both the live audience and those following online through social media. The venue for this event was an AMC theater nestled in the charming city of Chula Vista within San Diego County. The attendees eagerly awaited the rare opportunity 